Today we're at the farm, uh, Le Jardin du Coteau, uh, with Isabel, who's going to tell us a bit about the project and a bit about herself as well. I'm the owner of this farm with uh, an associate and I'm interested in the project because before I, t I worked during 10 years as an engineer in ST. So I have a technical background to understand uh, what is done here. One of the key points here is the, the water. If we have a, a measure of the humidity of the ground, we can adapt it and save uh, water and regulate as, uh, as well as possible. As said by Isabel, uh, the water regulation is really important, but also the uh, temperature and humidity in the, in the ground so that we can optimize uh, the, the growth of the vegetables. It's also very important to measure and monitor during night and day for the maximum and minimum the temperature and the humidity in the greenhouse. In the greenhouse, the temperature can, can get very, very high, up to 60 degrees uh, centigrade during the day. And during night, it's really important to know uh, what is the lowest temperature uh, to optimize the, the closing or the or opening of the doors. So I'm Nicolas, Nicolas Kier. I'm student. I'm student at uh, Polytech Grenoble in the uh, fourth year in electrical and informatic in computer science. So uh, we work on this project uh, using ST, uh, ST card. So the, it's a particular model uh, which consumes less energy than the other. Okay. And uh, on this board uh, we connect uh, a shield with a humidity sensor and temperature sensor uh, in order to gather information uh, on the greenhouse uh, environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, all this uh, information, so the, the one which are provided by the, by the shield and uh, the one which are provided by, by all the three sensors are, are sent uh, using LoRa, so a radio protocol, uh, which emit uh, using a few energy and uh, on, a, on, a, on a long range. So we are doing four measures every 15 minutes and uh, all the four measures are for temperature and humidity. Okay. So we measure at 10 centimeters of the ground, in the ground at 140 centimeters from the ground and on the top of the greenhouse at 3 meters. So here we are with two of the guys who are keeping this project on track. So, Benoit from ST and Nicolas from University of Grenoble Alps. So Benoit, maybe we start with you. Do you want to tell us why this project is important for a company like ST? Uh, yes, of course. So it is very important for us uh, to have some contacts with the students uh, so that they, they can <laughs> know. Yes, the students, uh, so that they so that they, they can know the the new products and the, that ST develops, and they can also uh, work on uh, innovative technologies that uh, we can propose. Uh, Nicola, over yeah. to you. So, would you like to tell us why uh, universities like to get involved in in this kind of a project and what's important about it for you? So w what is really important for us is to mm, have um, uh, some projects that involve multiple training courses and in that case you have four training courses uh, at Polytech that are involved in this project and also we involve uh, students from several years so we have some quite big groups the students learn how to manage these kind of groups and also they can work on several parts of the project, some specific parts uh, like software development, uh, electronic uh, components and stuff like this. Um, so real so practical kind of hands-on doer work. Yes, it's a really good way for them to, to learn by doing. 